What's up guys, it's the Lord Divine, and welcome to the first episode of Jurassic Park Genesis. This is something that's been requested for years actually, since I uploaded the Telltale Games Let's Play. People are like, I want to see this game. Have you, do you know about this game? Oh yes, I know about this game. I actually bought this game when it was new. Yeah. <laughs> this game is old. Alright, so if you guys did miss the trailer, you need to go check out the trailer. But, link will be in the description. But, you basically get to create your own Jurassic Park. How cool is that? It's like Zoo Tycoon with Jurassic Park. So we're going to get in here and just create our... Hello, Create our park. Get started. My name is John Hammond, and Thanks, I am Hammond. in charge of InGen, Great. the company that you now work for. Your job is quite simple, really. Build a park, create dinosaurs, and entertain people. I can do that. Of course, we'll be keeping an eye on you as well. Okay. We'll watch your park rating and give you feedback on your performance. But in the end, the success or failure of Jurassic Park... It's all up to you. There we go. We'll go here, take down some river. So we, you can create your own shape here in your, your island. Uh, generally, it's not good to have a huge amount of mountains. Like a couple is okay. But beyond that, it gets a little dicey. And you really just want as much land mass as possible. So I'm just going to max that out. I'm going to take down the mountains just a little bit. There we go. Cool. And maybe we can get like one river going through it. There we go. Cool. All right. <laughs> Excellent. That seems good to me. All right, let's start this up. So, oh. Well, let's try zooming in a little bit. There we go. I was above the ceiling there. All right, so you start out with your own island and uh, $130,000. And now you have to make a park. So from here on out, it's literally you do whatever you want. You do you, boo. Um, I'm going to start by building the park entrance. So I'm going to go to the amenities here, and then go to the park entrance. And then you can twist it around here and place it wherever you like. I think I'm going to put it... Let's see, where's the river right now? The river is right here. I should probably put it right here. Kind of in the middle. Yeah, right there. So I always try and put it at the edge just A because from Dr. it allows you to create your paths and go out. All right, so that's where all your visitors are going to come from. Now, you can come over here and build all sorts of different stuff, and you unlock stuff by research and all this other stuff, but really, um, you can come in here and build, like, fences or hatcheries, some security amenities for visitors, all kinds of stuff, attractions, um, some cleaner stations, which are excellent, because no one likes a dirty park. Dirty mouth, clean it up. You can also get some reports on how your park is doing right through here. Uh, you can get some dinosaur information here. Um, and then you've got just some basic actions there and some some game options here. So, like I said, I've started by placing down the visitor center. This is where all the action is going to start. It's where the magic happens. So I'm going to start by making some paths here um, to go out into the park. And really, you can do whatever you want um, when it comes to paths. I think I'm going to turn it this way. Uh, but I'm going to start by just going one long path kind of into the park. A little ways. And it costs $50 per section. So very expensive path, but that's okay. I'm going to make just kind of one big long path here to start out with. And that's enough, probably. Alright. So you don't want to start out too big, or else you're gonna it, it you're not going to have enough cleaning stations and amenities to keep people happy. So you want to keep your, your uh, park fairly small to start with so we'll the herbivores can be on this side to start with so we'll block it here I guess yeah this seems good Bonk. there we go make a nice big long path going down this way okay just gotta see where the square is alright great and then oh, a little more there's gonna be a lot of fiddly bits here me adjusting exactly where I need to be and all of that. Come on. There we go. Great. All right. So I've got this big section here blocked off. You might be wondering, okay, now wh wh how did the dinosaurs get into this? Well, first got to have a fence because you can't just let them roam free. You're going to get a, you're going to get little Jimmy stomped on by a Brachiosaur. That's going to be a bad idea. It's going to be bad uh, for your park rating too. So uh, what I'm going to do... To figure out where my boundaries are on this. 
right, let's try it. Can we go maybe a little... Let's do this. No? All right, so that looks like that's the farthest I can get. So I kind of kind of borked the uh, path here, but that's okay. Look at the fence right up here next to the path. We can adjust it later. That's the great thing, is that you can, you can break down and rebuild anything. All right, so I just built a crap ton of fence. Now, this is just low-voltage fence. So as you can see here, it's only 10,000 volts. So this is only really good for things like herbivores. Things aren't going to try and break out a lot. So, and that's what we're going to start with here in the park. So let's go ahead and build uh, a hatchery. So we're going to start with a little herbivore pen. Bonk, right there. So one of the th great things I love about this game is the music. Just listen to that music. Ah, it's so good. It's so good. It's all. It's one of the first games to have a full, fully orchestral soundtrack, which is really cool. All right, so we've got a hatchery now. But we've also got over here in the right corner, you might notice, there's some mail. Uh, we can actually go through and read it. Uh, it gives you tips, little things to keep, uh, keep a lookout for, all that sort of stuff. So you can now research the gyro stabilizer. Not interested. Delete. You can now research the viewing dome. I thought okay. you might like some input here. Oh, cool. All right, great. So here's the research you can do. Um, Dr. Wu here, you might remember him from the, uh, from the movie or the books as the lead scientist, will help you research a whole bunch of stuff here that are, that are just going to improve things. So better fences, Message vaccines for your dinosaurs, Dad. all that kind of stuff. I'm going to start with researching a better fence because we're going to need Absolutely. it. Absolutely. So I'm going to go ahead and research that, start that. And it takes a long time, like 20 or 30 minutes to research things. It takes a while. All right, what cool. Let's see whatever message is. This? All right, great. So Dr. Grant here, Mr. Sam Neal, uh, wants mm. us to assign some dig teams so we can get some more DNA. So in order to make dinosaurs, we have to have DNA. So we have to go find it somewhere, and that's what these dig teams do. So he's telling me to go start that. So it looks like the only thing I have unlocked currently is this uh, Chinini formation. It's Cretaceous. So that's good. Let's zoom in. All right, so we've got three areas here, and we can put up... Four dig teams in this area, two in this one, and three in this one. Uh, it doesn't really matter right now where I put it. Um, I think I'm just going to set it up here at the plains just because why not. Um, but it has, you can have up to three teams. It is the Cretaceous period, so you'll get Cretaceous period dinosaurs. So things like T-Rex and Rap uh, Velociraptor you're more likely to get uh, in these uh, dig sites here. And uh, it is, its content is considered good. So as you continue to dig, you'll eventually exhaust the area, and you'll only get kind of low-quality fossils rather than high-quality fossils, which produce a lot of DNA. So we're just going to go ahead and toss our only dig team right here. If we try and buy another team, it'll actually say, hey, you've got to open the park. So let's get on that. Great. So now we're done here. We've assigned our I dig team. I thought you might like some input here. Oh, I think I didn't I already do this? Yeah, I already did that. Pretty sure I already did that, but let's see. Hello. Okay, cool. Uh, was there anything else? Science? For science? No? Okay, whatever. <laughs> Alright, great. So we've got a fence. We've got some basic paths. We have a hatchery. Hello. So now let's hatch us a dinosaur. Um, you, first, you're going to be very limited on what you can hatch. So it looks like I can get a large carnivore. Ooh. That looks pretty cool. Or I can get a, a large herbivore. Like I said right now, a carnivore with a low security fence is probably a bad idea. Likely it would be fine, but if it broke out and started killing people, that'd be a bad situation. So we're just going to go sure. with the boring option here. And just get this Oranosaurus going. So you can see here, you can zoom in and see how, how this little hatchery works. Dumps a little hay barrel in there. How can I help? This is our progress going up. So when this completes, we will have hatched our own Oranosaurus. So it cost me $2,000, $2,500 about, uh, to hatch this particular dinosaur, and it only has 55% of its DNA complete. So that means its lifespan isn't going to be as good. And it could also get diseases a little easier and a couple other things like that. So in order to increase that lifespan, we have to get more DNA for this particular dinosaur. Ladies and gentlemen, we are oh, pleased speaking to of which, we can He's so cute. Stands out from the crowd with her colorful sail and fun-loving attitude. Please enjoy this magnificent dinosaur. 
Isn't he cool looking? Look at that. And what's amazing about this game is the dinosaur behaviors. They have full behaviors. They will eat, sleep, fight, mate, everything. It's so cool just to sit here and pan around on the dinosaur and just watch them do what they do. But this dinosaur here needs to eat. So let's get some food down for him. Dinosaurs. Herbivore feeder. Excellent. Now, I think I want the herbivores to kind of congregate right around here-ish. So I'm going to place the feeder there. Hello again. And paleo bale. Sure. Go ahead, dispense now. So this will just automatically dispense food for the dinosaurs. So notice Duder here is kind of, he's not really that hungry. You can see up here in the right corner, we have food or trees, food, water, sleep, how happy he is and how healthy he is. Another thing they're going to need is some water. So let's get some water for them. Environment? Lake. All right, let's get some lake going right. Where do we need a lake? Right here. A lake can't be made there. Whew, that lake sound. There we go. So now we've got some water for them, just in case. And let's build another one. Again. Okay. A couple of them. There we go. We'll get a small herd of these guys. Moranosaurus. Where'd he go? Is he over here? What is he doing? The hell? Ah. <laughs> what the hell is that? He's freaking out. I think he's trying to get past that tree. And the game's just glitching out. What the hell is happening? That's amazing. Message from the park administrator. Oh, okay. Well, what's going on? I can now build the herbivore feeder. I already got that. Once you have park entrance, some facilities, you can open your park and look to let visitors in. All right, so I've got to get some facilities going because we can't just have a park with dinosaurs and nothing going on for the visitors. So let's build some amenities Message here in this amenity Dr. tab. Grand. All right, so the kiosk is where they'll get uh, your visitors will get food, and that's something that is extremely important for any park. So I always like to place one somewhere closer to the entrance, like maybe here, and then... Hmm. Maybe another one over here. A little bit. Kind of like halfway through the park. There we go. And then one right here. So I, I, I get three is about right here. It may be a little much, but that's okay. It's all right to be a little much. Great. Now we need some restrooms, which I always place next to the eateries because people always seem to need to piss and poop <laughs> right after they eat. When they come to this park. I don't know why. They're like, as soon as they eat, they're like, okay, bathroom time. Maybe that's maybe that's exactly how it's supposed to work. Alright. So I'll place one right next to each one. Great. Any other amenities that I need to be building here? Nope. That's it. We got a park entrance. Now, one thing I am going to do is get a helicopter pad or ranger sta station. These are just about invaluable. They They are incredible. If you have any problems, the rangers, your park rangers, are the ones that are going to be taking care of it. Now, I wish I could put it on this mountain, but I can't. So I'm just going to kind of stick it, like, here next to the... Message from the park warden's office. Cool. So you can fly with your helicopter there and deal with your animals if they get sick or if they start rampaging or do something stupid. Are hey, you done freaking out here, little Piranosaurus? Yeah? No? Hey, buddy. Are you pissy? Oh, no, you guys are just hanging out. Oh. Didn't make that sound. I guess I'm going to dispense yep. a bale here. So you guys can eat. There you go. Great. So we have some amenities. We have the path. We have everything we need. Let's open our park. All right. So you can change your entry fee here. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it the default for now. $500 again. Seems good to see dinosaurs. So let's open Great. it. All right, and it tells you the time to arrival, too. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to declare the newest wonder of the modern world, Jurassic Park. Now open. Dun, 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 dun. All right, guys. Well, we've gotten our first bit of this park set up. We got our first major habitat, some food, some dinosaurs, amenities, and we opened up. So that'll be it for this. Thank you, Grant. 
Thank you. That'll be it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Check out the other videos in the series. Leave me a comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Peace.